Hey folks, Dumak the Artist coming at you uh, from my hidden bunker deep within the bowels of the city. And, um, yeah, apparently now with the whole um, incident in France uh, regarding I Am Charlie, there's now a bunch of people on Twitter who are saying, screw I Am Charlie, they drew comics offending my religion, I'm going to celebrate the dead cop instead, I Am Al Ahmed. He was the real hero. Really? You do understand that part of the reason why those people got killed is because of your religion. You understand that, right? You also understand that if given the situation, your religious group, if they were to come into political power, would not, under any circumstances, allow freedom of speech of any kind. If you dare to even speak out one word of criticism against a particular religious leader, you'd pretty much be dead. You understand that, right? You know, there comes a point where, you know, this is a tragedy. This is a tragedy that is based on the fact that people got offended by a few squiggles and lines on paper or on a computer. And they decided that instead of, you know, maybe doing their own cartoons or, you know, writing an angry letter or, you know, expressing their discontent that way, they took up arms and decided that they were going to go on a shooting spree. As if that would solve anything. As if their God couldn't strike them down with, couldn't strike down the offending infidels with lightning. You know. Make a clear message. But the fact that we have people trying to take these victims and use them as an excuse to divide us even further, even among those of us who think that this atrocity is a bad thing, now they want to turn it into a cop versus cartoonist type of deal. Really? You want to do that? Does that make you feel better about yourself? Because some people took so... I mean, let's think about this here for a minute. Why would an almighty, all-powerful being give a rat's behind about a bunch of black lines on paper? Why would a, a prophet that supposedly uh, in whatever, you know, whether it's Jesus or Muhammad or whatever... What would make these people think that the prophet would care about what a bunch of non-believers drew about him? You know, the whole point of that, you know, not showing the prophet Muhammad was to keep these people from becoming idolaters and worshiping an image instead of the creator of the, you know, instead of the creator. This is a, a prime example of just completely blind arrogance and stupidity. And it's disgusting. You know, yes, I, I understand you're, you, you are offended by these pictures. You know what? Nobody is safe from criticism. Suck it up. We're not free from criticism. <laughs> you know, if you know anything about artists, we criticize everybody. We're not safe from criticism, even from each other. Hell, even from ourselves. So you know what? If you can't, you know, deal with criticism, here's what you do. Oh, look. This book has offensive content. There are pictures and words in here that upset me. You know what I'm going to do? Instead of taking a gun and going around shooting people or, or making nasty comments on the internet, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this book and I'm just going to put it right over here. And then I'm going to walk away and I'm going to leave it alone. Common sense, right? Common freaking sense. This is Dumak the Artist signing off. Sanchini Falcha. Have a nice day.